Hello. Just sorting the old laptop out. I shall sit here a few minutes and await your arrival. <coughs> Cheers. Hi Jackie, hi Alwyn, how are you? You having a good day? You been busy? Have you been crafting? What have you been making? I've been really busy. I've had the sewing machine on today because I'm prepping for some more shows that Crafty Witches have got on Sewing Street. Uh, seriously, these two collections, they are absolutely stunning. You are going to love them. You're going to absolutely, you're going to go, j'adore. Mm. See, I'm going on French. Hi, Moya. How are you? And Tracy's here as well. How are you all? I hope you're all okay. Feel free to comment. You are allowed to comment in the in these chats. I do like it when we have a little natter. Uh, not being crafty and watching Olympics, says Jackie. Well, Graham's on nights, so of course I've then got to be as quiet as a mouse during the afternoon while he's in bed. So I did actually put the Olympics on and I watched the skateboarding and I've just been watching the cycling. So we're doing well, aren't we? I watched um, Keely get a gold medal. Oh, bless her. She's such talent, isn't she? Um, hi, Tracy, love. Um, but yeah, this morning I was uh, beavering away yesterday. I was doing lots of soft crafting as well. Um, I bought myself a kit. I'll show you it. I've popped in here. He, this is just the most adorable kit. I bought. My, I treated myself. I had a bit of birthday money left over. Uh, I won Lisa's Christmas junk journal today. Oh, Jackie, that's brilliant. Oh, I'm really pleased for you. Oh, Lisa, she is such a talent. All our team are really talented. And it, isn't it lovely when you win something? Ian's here. Hi, Ian. How are you, love? And Michelle's here. Hello. Yeah, do you want to see what I've treated myself to? Look. <laughs> it's a little lion. And it's actually a sewing kit. You can get the pattern on its own. But this is actually a kit that I'm going to sew. Um, I think it's hand sewing because he is going to be about 11 inches in height. But yeah, look at him. There's even a tutorial how to do the shading around his eyes. Um, I need to get some alcohol markers. I haven't got any. Can you believe it? What kind of crafter am I? Not got any. So, yeah, that's going to be... Once I've done all my prep for um, Sewing Street, that's my next project. I will show you when it's done, Jackie. Um, I'm a bit annoyed bit annoyed with myself you know when you put something in a safe place and then you turn the house upside down trying to remember where the safe place is well about four years ago could be more I bought a sausage dog pattern fabric for fabric and I found it this morning I've been searching all over for it but there's only the body and the under bit of the body so he's got no ears and no tail and the fabric that we've got coming up, one of the fabric panels is huge. 
because they've done something slightly different but I'm not going to spoil it and I was going to make the sausage dog with this fabric so I think he'll look so groovy so now what I'm going to have to do is try and make a pattern for the tail and for the ears I'm going to have a go I'll make him in calico to start off with I think because I really don't want to mess up this gorgeous fabric that we've got I mean I, I can't show you not yet anyway because I will get shot uh, Chris is here hello love how are you so yeah I've got a little project to do which I'm really chuffed about so that was the last of my birthday money from my mum my mum and dad in law are always giving me money and say oh get whatever you want um, and I bought a silver bracelet um, and the lion what's his name again did you notice Charlie Lion mm. she's also got loads of um, patterns so what I might do is send her an email and see if she minds if I make them up with our fabric and put them on the telly if she minds I'm sure she won't mind because her angel policy says that you can make and sell but who knows I shall ask it's always best to ask isn't it anyway thank you for joining me on this glorious Tuesday evening it's sunny. It was raining this morning, which I was a little bit miffed about, truth be told, because I was going to go for a walk. Um, hi, Caroline. How are you? It's nice to see you. Um, Sunday was my Lord and Master's birthday. Bless him. Um, I said to him, what do you fancy doing on Sunday? He said, shall we go for a walk? So there's a reservoir near us. He said, let's have a walk around the reservoir. And I thought, a couple of miles seven and a half miles and that is the furthest that i've walked since i had my toe done well that's the furthest i've walked since october 2022 i could not even move my legs yesterday and my foot was like a balloon so i think it was saying mm, a bit too far but anyway it doesn't matter because this morning it's back to normal so i was going to go walk but it raining and uh, i don't want to melt I used to love Dactari with Clarence the Cross-Eyed Lion. I did as well. I absolutely loved that programme. Anything that's got lions, because lions and tigers are really special to, to me and Graham. So, yeah, that's why I've got the lion. The plan was that I was going to make it before his birthday and present it. And then I realised that actually it might look a bit naff. So I shall make it and then he can put it in the car or something. Uh, Jackie's saying that she used to love Dactari as well. Anyway, shall we crack on? I've been going on about what I've been doing seven and a half miles on Sunday. Got a little bit of sunburn because it was cloudy when we went out. And bright sunshine when we came back. And obviously, fair English peach. So, today's offering from the Crafty Witches is a half price book of spells. So our, our book of spells, as you know, if you've been following Crafty Witches for a while, you'll know that they are most excellent value. And Linda and Becky always try to put a little bit of something extra in there as well. So it's not just one theme. You've got a bit of everything. And this is Book of Spells, Volume 1. So this is our very first one that, that we ever uh, took to air. So in it, you have got fairy tale stories love gnomes my favorites sparkling bouquet and twilight garden and there literally is something for everybody in this so there's children there's your love gnomes so that's perfect for um valentine's if you make valentine's cards to sell or even if you want to send someone a card and tell them that you love them uh my favorites are perfect for those chaps who like all things masculine Sparkling Bouquet is such a beautiful, delicate collection. And Twilight Garden, I really like that one. That's my go-to if I need to make one of those cards that none of us want to make. But unfortunately, we do have to make them, um, the sympathy cards. So the price normally is £14.99. So you've got five uh, kits there, £14.99. It's half price, so it's £7.49 for you. Um, and if you are in the Coven Club, it works out £5.62. Hi, Mary. Hello, are you all right, love? Um, so in it, you're going to get, in each collection, you've got four toppers, four decorative papers, four essential papers, two inserts, one set of sentiments, you know the strip sentiments that we do, 
uh, one alphabet, uppercase and lowercase, but that's in two colourways. You've got a sheet of flowers, leaves, tags and pennants. So there's absolutely loads. Jackie's saying she's going to have to check if she's got it. I know I've got my favourites, but it might have been just that. Um, yeah, do check that. I know the offer's going to be going on for a few days anyway. Linda usually leaves it for a few days. Because once this video is finished, Kevin will upload it to YouTube in the next couple of days. So anyone who's not seen it can then still go and buy. Hi Elizabeth, how are you? Hope you're okay. So, I, what I've done as always is i've printed out the toppers so you can get an idea what the artwork looks like um i'm going to start off with fairy tale stories and this is the one that i said this would be perfect for your children uh do excuse the nails i went all fancy over the weekend um and thought oh i'll take those off i have run out of nail varnish remover so Apologies, Linda, for me having red nails, and they're a bit scabby because I've been sewing. So you'll see there. Uh, Hells, do I just get them from the Crafty Witches site, love? Yes, you do, Mary. So up at the top of this video, that I've put the link in the description. So if you click on that, that will take you straight to the website. It's already been reduced in price. You just click purchase and follow the usual checkout procedure. Uh, that will then be sent to you. Look at the dragon. Oh, he's just so gorgeous. You've got a little dragon in an egg. You've got that little flower bug with the toadstool. I think what I might do is hold these up one at a time because my hands are a bit dry today. It's because I've been holding fabric. <clears throat> Next, you've got square toppers. And again, look at the dragon on the cloud. And you've got a little flower baby that one i absolutely love it reminds me uh, do you remember flower fairies cicely mary baker i had loads of flower fairy books well it's like a cartoony version isn't it they're very cute i've made lovely cards with those dragons i know aren't they just gorgeous and the thing is when i'm doing a facebook live i know that i can reasonably get three demos in it's like which ones do i choose it's like trying to get me to choose my favourite packet of crisps then you've got look at those aren't they adorable that would be perfect if someone's just had twins I think you've got have a very happy birthday there's another one there um a girl I used to work with Natalie she used to work at Ideal World she had a baby last year and you know when the when you have a baby scan sometimes you give it a name she called it a little dragon that would have been perfect for her Little dragons now a year old. So that is your last set of toppers. Look at that one. It's just so adorable. And that, it, it makes me want to start singing Puff the Magic Dragon, but I won't because there's not much that makes me shed a tear, but Puff the Magic Dragon, I can't help it, I always end up crying. It's one of those that if it sneaks up behind me on the radio, tears. Next set, we have got our love gnomes. Look at these little cheekies. So you've got your... Not, I, well, I love these anyway because I just think the, the colours on these are fabulous. But you've got your circle toppers there. This one is saying, print me a few times and cut that out and make it into a bit of a shaker card. I need to make a birthday card for a five-year-old little girl. That would fit the bill. It certainly would, wouldn't it? Oh, Caroline, I'm glad that it's not just me. It's when little Jackie Paper came no more. Don't, because you're going to set me off. There we've got the square toppers. Look at him. He's going, hi. Because little Jackie Paper, he love that rascal puff. Stop it, hells. You'll end up beefing. It's supposed to be happy. <laughs> And that one, an engagement, because it looks like Monsieur Nome is proposing, doesn't it? Hi, Dawn, how are you? I got your parcel, thank you, sweetheart. I love this time. When, um, when I've got shows coming up, because I'm on 
Sunday on Hobbymaker, all our clever team start sending me boxes of goodies. And um, what I do is I receive them. I know who they're from because they've got the name on it. And then I pile them up and I don't open them until I've got them all. It's like that anticipation. And then those are your square ones. Look at that one. That's fab. With the old start, with the old American style letterbox. So that is Love Gnomes. Next up, we've got my favourites. Now, I know that some of you might have already had this one because this is one of ours that's been, it's been so popular. Um, and I think purely because of the content. What's Caroline? Need a quick verse of happy talk. Happy talking, talking, happy talk. I won't sing anymore because it'll make your ears bleed. So this is my favourites. And as I said, this is the one that's very masculine. See, look, printer. I've had words. I have had serious words. It was printing fine and then the lines came and then they went again. So what I've decided to do is I'm not going to print a load of stuff all at once. I'm wondering if it's I just make it go too quick. I, may, I overwork it. <laughs> Hi Marie, how are you? So this is the next one. Jackie Jones saying I've made loads of men's cards with this kit. It's brilliant. It is, isn't it, Jackie? So there you'll see you've got that cologne bottle, a hat. I found a group the, that reminded me of cologne. I found a group the other day on Facebook. It's called Chester Draws mangled something or other it is hilarious it's like when people put a post on facebook marketplace to sell something um and someone had put furniture and chest of drawers instead of chest of drawers go and have a look at it seriously i was sitting there crying with laughter uh deborah's here hi deborah elizabeth also has made loads with this collection jackie's saying she's seen that group well, anyway, there was a post. A lady had made her own strawberry scented joysticks that smelt of men's colon. <laughs> Hence me. Yeah. All right. I'll shut up. This would be perfect for the man in your life, wouldn't it? I like the fact that there's some florals there as well, but the colours are just amazing. You've got the dog and you've got the shiny shoes. You've got the, uh, that looks like an Audi R8, doesn't it? I think. You've got the car. Right, next, sparkling bouquet. This is beautiful as well. They're all beautiful. So starting off with your circle toppers there, you've got those lovely muted colours. You've got the blues and you've got those lovely pinky browns as well now this one in particular if you've got stormy sky and victorian velvet distress inks go perfectly with this and they really make those flowers pop evening hills i'm using my external storage after you after you said it was okay brilliant is it working all right deborah have you got it sorted oh it's fabulous having external storage is that that's the thing with digital files because you literally have your storage and it's like in a little tiny thing or you could keep it on little usbs and just print when you want to yeah use your distress inks with these because they look glorious also because the flowers are a little bit paler if you've got like distress pencils <coughs> or watercolor pencils bring them in there when the subtitles are on for lives, there are often weird and wonderful things and regional accents. Oh, have I got subtitles? Oh, heck. <laughs> You'll have to tell me what it's tell it, saying I've said. Hi, uh, is that Kevin? Hi, uh, uh, yes, thanks. Still, still transferring things onto it. I bet you're finding stuff that you've forgotten you had. Am I going to have to start talking properly? Maybe I should. <laughs> And then finally, you've got your square toppers. 
So those who've just joined, we are looking at the Book of Spells Volume 1. It is currently half price. Link up there. And finally, this is Twilight Garden and this is just so pretty. Look at that bird. Caroline's saying, not you, but some of the others I've watched. Oh, well, if I come out, come out with a funny word, do let me know, won't you? Julie's here. Hi, Julie. How are you? Hope you're okay. Then we've got the square one. I love this one, obviously, because it's got kitty cats and birds. Anything that's got cats and birds. Cats, birds, flowers, butterflies. I'm a happy girl. Then we've got this one. Not butterfly, but moth. Look at that. When we were on our walk on Sunday, I spotted the most amazing caterpillar. He looked like he was wearing a ginger fur coat. It was a buff ermine caterpillar. He's a moth, by the way. Look at the cat. Isn't it just lovely? Obviously. Speaking of which, I'm surprised that mine haven't shown the faces. They've not had the TTs yet. Well, Tilly's still out. And she's gone and lost her bell off her collar. I don't know where that's gone. Eric's just come in and because he's been fussing around for food. Graham's just gone to work. So, sorry. Right then, let's have a quick run through again. So you are getting In Book of Spells Volume 1, Fairy Tale Stories, Love Gnomes, My Favourite, Sparkling Bouquet and Twilight Garden. You've got four toppers, four decorative papers, four essential papers, two inserts, <clears throat> um, you've got one sentiment, your alphas, uppercase and lowercase in two colours, flowers, leaves, tags, pennants and your solids as well. Don't recognise the other kits so it's another buy. Well you don't want to miss out and because this is actually normal price it's let me get it right when it's 14.99 i think that's how much two kits cost isn't it i can't remember but it works out at 7.49 on offer on the half price if you are in the coven club it's five pound 62 if you're not in the coven club it is well worth joining because you get lots of benefits and i know a lot of our coven club members will actually tell you you do as well you get little special offers um, and you've also got your discounts as well and you also get discounts off discounted products which a lot of times you don't get uh, wasn't this out 18 months ago um, yeah it was our very very first book of spells so I want to say it was probably I didn't do this one because I think I was off with my foot so yeah it probably is about 18 months ago I think this is one that Linda did, because uh, I couldn't drive, if you remember. Uh, Elizabeth's agree and the Coven Club is great. Thank you, Elizabeth. I know we've got a lot of Coven Club members, and it's worth your while, isn't it? Because look at all the savings. I mean, I know you're spending, but there's no point spending if you can save at the same time. Right, let me put that out of the way. I'm going to put it there. You, you can't see what's over there yet. <clears throat> It's hidden. Uh, Deborah's saying November 2020, November 2022. Wow. Is that from memory or have you found it? <laughs> I hope you found it because otherwise you've got a cracking memory. Right. Wet me whistle and I am going to do some demos. So close your eyes while I twiddle you round and I'm going to bring you down onto... Oops, nearly drops you out of the holder then. There we go. So hopefully memory. Deborah, you've got a really good memory. Right, Crafty Witches says there's lots of inspirations for the book of spells here, and there's a link to wherever that would be i think is it pinterest kevin that you put that on right if you've not joined me before for um the facebook live 
everything's backwards because you're on a forward facing camera so that means that you've you've got to use artistic license with this you'll know what i'm doing anyway but everything you're going to see will will look backwards i got a message oh hells is everything okay because i noticed you're not wearing your wedding ring <laughs> yes i am right I need to go shopping tomorrow and buy some nail varnish remover as well. Anyway, ignore them. I've been ironing and sewing today and I chopped a bit off using a rotary cutter. Thankfully it was my nail and not my finger. I'm so clumsy. Shouldn't be allowed out sharp, should I? Right, so we have got a 6x6 six six card. And this is on your solids and I have... Cut that down to 14 and a half by 14 and a half. Now, what I'm not going to do is add my little white bit that I usually do. I usually do that white paper in between because the paper that I've chosen has actually got a white background. So it doesn't need that buffer in between. The link is to collections on the Inspiration Hub. All the links on there goes to Pinterest. Thank you very much, Kevin. Have you got sausage fingers today, Kevin? I had sausage fingers after my walk the other day. Why is that? Your hands always swell up. When I'm using my walking sticks, I've got Nordic poles to walk with normally, but I didn't take them because I thought it might be a bit, a bit rough. I wish I'd taken them. I had fingers like sausages. Right, so that is my base there. And then... I've got some more of the... What's happened here? You're all backwards and sideways. And is that the right way? Yes, too warm to be precise. Oh, it, it's been a bit muggy here. Now you're upside down. I will get this right. You know, I mean, we've only had a few of these Facebook Lives, haven't we? <laughs> One of these days... That's it. There we go. Right. Blimey. I told you I need to practice. You didn't tell me you were upside down though, did you? You should have done. So I've got some more. I'm keeping this simple. So this is some more of the solid colour. And then that one is one of those toppers. And one of the strip sentiments it says, happy birthday. So what I'm going to do is add a line of glue along there. And then I'm going to collect that on there. Like that. And that's stuck on nicely now. And then... I am going to add some glue to the back of this. There we go. And bob that into the middle. Like so. And then, usually, I would add some 3D foam to that, but I'm not going to because I've got lots of stuff to put on this topper. Because I've actually printed it out a couple of times. So I'm going all decoupagey. Right, let's get that one into the middle and stick that down. What time am I on on Sunday? Yeah, one and five, which is good. So can you see what I've done? I've gone and printed this top topper set again, and then I've cut it out, but I've not cut out all of it. So the little fiddly bits here, nope. And then the rows there, nope, because I just wanted it to be a little bit smaller. So each time I do decoupage, I'll take something off. If I was going to keep going with this, I would take that one and that one. And then I'd have that bit. And then the next one would be those two. And then the final one would be that. So I do it in layers. But what I have done is on that topper sheet, there is also... 
this. And I thought, that looks really cool. However, look how thin that is. There's no way I'm going to cut that out neatly. So what I'm going to do is go snip snip along there and chop that off. And then I'm just going to go around my scissors and cut out the balloon. So I want it to look like he's holding the balloon. And then just snippety snip all the way around to the end. And then I can go in like that. There's my balloon. So that's going to go around about there. And I've just remembered that I forgot to get my little fine liner out. There it is. Is that the one that works? Because I've got one that works and one that doesn't. Yeah, that one works. So I've got my fine liner. And then I've got this. And what I want to do is cut out his hat. But I'm not going to cut out the heart. Because again, that could be quite fiddly. So, <coughs> excuse me. Whenever you are doing any kind of decoupage, just have a look at it and just make sure that you're not going to make life difficult for yourself. Right then. So I'm going to go in with my scissors and cut around the hat. Like so. It's really simple. Just move the card as you cut in. You see how fiddly that little heart would have been. It's already there. Don't need another one. <coughs> Excuse me. And then I'm going to come up here. And I'm going to come in this way because it's actually easier to see where I'm going. Cutting from this side rather than from the other. If that makes sense. Because if I was cutting from there, I'm cutting against myself. Can you see what I mean? And then any little white bits, I'm just going to snip away. Because I can. Go in like that. There we go. Right. So we'll get rid of those little bits and bobs. And then I'm going to get some 3D foam. Life's too short. It is far too short for fiddly bits. I always make life easy for myself. Because if you make life difficult, then you're not going to enjoy it, are you? Right, so I've got some 3D foam. I'm actually going to fold this over. So it's like double thickness. And then I'm just going to shape this heart. So it's got, it looks more like a balloon than a flat bit of paper. And that can go into the middle like that. Now, you could use 3D gel, like pin flare glue or something. Um, but I've chosen to use this one because I want it to dry nice and quickly. I want that one to go there like that. Let's move this. Do you know, I'm getting covered in stuff here. I've got, I've got this sticking to me. Right then, let's get these stuck down. So I shall go in and cut these little bits. Just so that's going to give me some nice 3D. There we go. And I've still got his hat to 3D yet as well. And then that can go on there. And then the hat, give that a bit of a shape. And I need a little bit of foam for that one. And then what I'm going to do, can you see on that very tip, it's quite pointy, which means that it's going to be difficult to get some 3D foam in there. So what I always do is 
pop some glue on the real fine bit and then it's not going to go flappy flappy. So we'll stick that one down and press that round and I'm just going to hold that in place just for a few seconds. That's Jackie's down. I just tried to blow off the stray piece of paper. <laughs> That would have been really funny if it had moved as you did that, though, wouldn't it? <laughs> I'm going to do the same for the balloon. So I'm just going to press that down. Hold that in place. I should hold it. And then I've got this fine liner, which means that I want the string to be through his hand, like so, and then come around and up onto the balloon. And then I can draw a couple of little bows like that. And then we can have another one there. So that string that I cut off that was going to be really faffy, I've just made my own. No one's going to know. They're going to go, oh, that's, that looks good, doesn't it? That's pretty. That's pretty. And then, of course, should we have some gems? Let's have some gems. Where about shall I put the gems this time? I think I'm actually going to go... You know you can get those really expensive roses that have got those posh gems in the middle. There we go. Let's do it. Got my little tweezers. So I have some little gems on here. And they can just sit in the middle of my roses. Extra glue to hold them in place as always. And I need one for the pink rose to go there. There we go. Press that down. And then Can you push the card off? Oh, sorry, love. Yeah, there you go. Now, I had words with this glitter glue. Um, obviously, the words fell on deaf ears because it's still bummed up. I'm going to buy a new one because this one's just annoying. But if I just keep, keep giving it a prod, what I want to do is just add some glitter on the balloons spots see what i mean it just keeps blocking so i'm just going to keep using a pen i've tried i've tried and better tried i've given up get it annoying when you buy something and it don't quite work properly but you really want to use it What's Deborah saying? She likes quickie pens. Quickie pens are good, yeah. I've got one somewhere. There we go. Um, maybe just a little bit on there. I'll spread that one out. Like so. Just so there's a little bit of sparkle, and when that dries, it'll go all crispy. There we go. So that is Love Gnomes. Thank you, thank you, Jackie, thank you, Deborah. Next up, I have got Sparkling Bouquet, and it's a little card. I can't remember what size it is. It is. Ooh. 
ten and a half by ten and a half. We're going diddy, just like a little notelet thing. <clears throat> and I've got some of the playing card and I'm breaking that up a little bit with some white. But this actually looks like I've already distressed around the edge and I haven't. That's the design which I love. But if you wanted to add in a little bit of another colour then you can do. But like I said, with this particular collection, Victorian Velvet, which is that lovely dusky pink and stormy sky distress inks go perfectly with it. So let's go for the little mini. The little mini card. There we are. And then, thank you Mary, she's saying it's lovely. Then just some white card or paper, just as a little break. And then a topper. So I've chosen this topper so there's no writing or anything on it. This is from one of the square topper sets. Really nice, quick and simple. Now you could leave it like that, you could add a little stamp sentiment there and have it as a rotelet. But what I've done is actually used one of the um, square sentiments that's on that topper set and I've cut it out with a little border of white so I didn't need to lay it onto more white paper. Because obviously I'm a skin flint. So for that one, I'm going to add some 3D foam behind it. This is just one of my little quickie makes. I have got another card as well to show you. So we've got three demos. There we go. Anyone who's just joined us, I am using the Book of Spells volume number one, which is our very first one. And it is currently half price on the website. The details and the link are in the description box of this video. So if you want to hop over to the website and have a little look, it is currently £7.49. If you're in the Coven Club, it works out at £5.62. Oh, I do love a bargain. So I could just leave it like that if I wanted to. But I've got this flower. This is another one of the little mini toppers. And I thought, well, that'll look really nice just as a little floral embellishment, won't it? So I thought, right, let's cut that out. So I'm not going to faff about with these little bits. And you could add die cuts in there if you want. And don't forget, there are also flowers in this collection as well so you've got the um the designer flowers that becky does you've got leaves you've got pennants where's my list you've got bows alphabets and don't forget you can resize all of these in your um, pdf reader so if you want to make them bigger you can if you want to make them smaller, you can. If you've got an A3 printer like our Ian has, the world's your oyster. You can really go to town. And then, there we go. So, this it looks a little bit like an anemone, doesn't it? That one. And I'm just going to use the heat from a thumb on my finger just to give that a stretch so I'm stretching those paper fibers there and then I'm just going to give these petals a pinch so I'm squeezing them together because the kind of flower that it is they, they're sometimes a little bit papery aren't they the petals and they, they look a little bit folded so that's how I do this I stretch it first and then I pinch so I'm actually bringing these together and it gives you that extra effect. Now I could put that there actually, couldn't I? So it goes over the top of the one underneath or I could put it there. I think I'm going to pop it there actually. I'll put it at a jaunty angle and I will use glue gel 
When number one's son was little, he called them enemy plants. <laughs> oh, bless. Yeah, it's an anemone. It's one of those words that's difficult, isn't it? Anemone. You have to think about it when you say it. So using glue gel has given me that dome there. Kevin's just put a link on want to know how to snapshot and resize, click here. So that's going to take you to a video. It is really, really simple. And it just it adds that extra element to your digital files that you have got the ability to do that. I'm going to add a few little black gems up here. Let me go like so. Just give those a little wiggle like that. And there we go. That's a really quick and simple card. Have a very happy birthday. You could add glitter to that. You could add more gems if you wanted to. But yeah, that's just a nice quickie for you. And then finally, I, I would be very remiss not to do something with my favourites, wouldn't it? So what I have got is I've done square cards tonight haven't I? I haven't done a, a rectangle I never noticed that when I was putting these together did I tell you I've been very industrious so because we've got ahead of the game we've been really organized I've actually prepped all my Facebook lives through to the 20th of August Uh, Jackie's saying love that, thank you. The next town over is Kakodi. It's famous for limony, lim, lim, <laughs> floor covering. What is it, linoleum? Is it linoleum? Lino. <laughs> I love resizing. I love resizing as well. You just wait until Sunday because I've done some serious resizing. With this, uh, we've got a medley on Sunday. It's called the August medley. And there will be 12 kits. I've also got a junk journal, which I absolutely love. I love junk journals anyway. I've had my distress inks out. I've got all inky. I've been playing. Here we go. Look at that blue. Isn't it just lovely? Right, which way do I need to go? I need to go that way, don't I? There we go. Thank you, Kevin. I thought it was. Oh, look. Where's well, not want not? Well, I wasn't going to use that. Told you. I'm from Yorkshire, of course I'm stingy. You can't see through anyway. Little bit of paper. And then this one. This is one of those papers that's going to come in handy for everything because it's black with the tiniest little dot. I absolutely love this one. It's such a classic paper. Will the 12 kits be new? No, they're not. They're not new. In that format they are. I'm not sure. I think all of them have been around. But what Linda's done is put them together at such a fab oops, such a fabulous price. We've got spellbinding classics on there as well, which you're gonna love. Are they repeats in August? I think yeah, yeah, they are. That's um that's what you're asking, aren't you? Yeah, they are. So it'll be exclusive. The, the deal will be exclusive because obviously we've got to be we've got to offer some kind of exclusivity. But it's the the package that's been put together. Yeah, and I'm all prepped. <clears throat> and as I said, one of my demos, I've done some serious resizing. So I've used on your special day and just added white behind it just to lift it a little bit. And then the topper that I'm using is this one. Carolyn's here. Hi, Carolyn. 
Sorry I'm late, was out and now taking grandson to work at HMP, so we'll watch and catch up. All right, Caroline. Thank Caroline, thank you for joining anyway. Right. I've got an extra strip of this, so I thought, yes, that'll do, because it brings it all together. And the blue is in here. Look, waste not, want not. So I'm going to add that around about there. I'm going to move it over a couple of dots, I think. I'm going to put it onto those dots there. I usually like to just make a little line there so I know where I'm going to put it back. That's the other thing, when I'm putting cards together, usually, if it's one that's got quite a complicated layout, I will take a photo, just to remind myself. But obviously I can't take a photo, because I'm using my phone. Yep, so Sunday, Hobby Maker, I shall be on at 1pm and 5pm. Right, so I've added a little white background there. And then the sentiment, I thought, I'm going to bob that around about there so it's overlapping a little bit. So I'm going to stick that one down. Still might be worth buying if I've only got a few of the kits. Not very likely, to be honest, I'm Jackie. <laughs> Definitely need more of the spellbinding colour kits. Yeah, this one is... Teal. Teal. Oops, don't want to go sideways. Yeah, Spellbinding Classics. But on Friday, I will be doing Facebook Live and I will be showing you all of the samples that the team have made for the shows on Sunday. You know, like we did with Pollyanna, I'm going to do it again because our sample makers take so much time and put so much effort into making these beautiful samples and you don't get to see them properly in detail. So the Facebook Live is going to be a sneaky peek. So you'll get to see everything that's going to be on the show I'll also show you the junk journal that I've made as well. Right, let's just snippety snip. There we go. Around the car. This would be really cool if you added a bit of glossy accents across the window. Have I got any glossy accents? Oh, it kind of crap. Tracy says she's sending the samples tomorrow. Thank you. Jackie says she loves teal. Um, it's teal. Just doing my samples while I watch. Thank you, Ian. Donnie's here. Evening, Donnie. Hope you're okay. I bet you're still really busy, aren't you? You're busy at work. Need to stick this down first before I even think about putting glossy accents on. Otherwise, I'll get in an awful muddle, won't I? Let's have a little bit more 3D. Here we go. Just that bit and that bit. <clears throat> Does anyone know what time um, Josh Kerr's running tonight? Because he's, he's in the final, isn't he? Or has he already run? I hope I've not missed it. I absolutely love watching the Olympics. Uh, Donnie's saying, yes, yeah, still picking cherries. Oh, is he doing it now, Jackie? Oh, well, that's just typical, isn't it? Can he not just hang on a minute? Say, hold on, Josh. Right. A little bit of glossy accents for just a bit of reflection on that window. Mm. 
on the headlamp on the side window there we go I love a bit of glossy accents and for a finishing touch I am going to use clear or black what do you reckon oh black definitely so I'll have a couple up here and then some down there Whoops, whoops a daisy. That wasn't supposed to happen. Some nice chunky black gems. Just bob those on there. Like that. There we go. <clears throat> so the three samples that, or the three demos that I've done we've got favourite things sparkling bouquet and then we've got the love gnomes <clears throat> let me just give that a little wiggle around here we go <clears throat> um, if I lift that up hopefully you should be able to see them all oh no he's come second oh bless him Mind you, silver's better than nothing, isn't it? Oh, I bet he's kicking himself. Was it that Norwegian boy that won? Now I know I'm really old when I say boy. <laughs> Norwegian boy. Right, shut your eyes while I twiddle you around. Woohoo, there we go. Here we are. Right, so. Quick one. What did I do with that? There it is. Don't look there. It's all top secret. Oh, the American? Oh, because that, that Norwegian rod was supposed to be tipped, wasn't it? Maybe bronze, no, he didn't feature in medals. Oh. Oh, bless him. Did you see the pole vaulter last night? That Norwegian lad? Blimey. He could have just kept going. I've never seen anyone go that out. Well, obviously, he was getting world records, wasn't he? But that was incredible. Anyway, let's have a quick recap. So up in the description, there be a link to the website where you can get this book of spells for just seven forty nine. So it's half price. In it, we've got fairy tale stories, love gnomes, my favourites, sparkling bouquet, and twilight garden. So you've seen me use my favourites, uh, love gnomes, and sparkling bouquet. You've got four toppers, four decorative papers, four essential papers. Uh, you've got your solid colours, your inserts, sentiments, alphabets, uppercase, lowercase and two colourways. You've got a sheet of flowers, a sheet of leaves, some tags and some pennants. So it's one of our comprehensive kits that you've, you've come to expect that anyway, haven't you? Um, quick flick through. Those are... Oh, they're just so cute. I absolutely... I adore these. I really do. So this is fairy tale stories. There we go. He's done well to get silver, hasn't he? There we go. Love gnomes. And that is the little fella that I used on my demo with that one and that one. And I've just printed it twice. Then we've got my favourites. And that is the one that I used on the demo. And that one. And again, printed it twice. So that's my favourites. Then you have got Sparkling Bouquet, which is this beautiful ethereal coloured one. That one. And that is the one that I used on my demo. And where is the other flower from? Yeah, that one. 
I'm getting all muddled now. What am I? Oh, Twilight Garden. And Twilight Garden with the gorgeous cat. Look at the floofy tail. It's got a tail like Tilly and the birds and the moon. Hence Twilight. A little wren there. So those are the five collections within Book of Spells Volume 1. So I am going to bid you good day. I will be back on Friday at 2pm. Um, there's every likelihood it will be a whispering session. Uh, thank you, Jackie, because when on nights, I hate it when it's on nights because I have to be quiet. Um, I'm rubbish at being quiet. You know when you know what it is when you try and be quiet and you end up being more noisy? That's that's me. I try to be like a mouse and I end up like an elephant. So I will try and be quiet. But what I'm gonna do is go through all of the samples that the sample team have made and they will be for Sunday shows. We've got an August medley, 12 kits, we've also got the junk journal the nouveau junk journal and we've got a uh, spellbinding classics as well which is the teal colors um join me two o'clock on friday have a really good week uh make lots and lots and don't forget if you've come in halfway through this video will be available for 30 days on creative friends but kevin will be popping it onto our youtube channel as well so you can watch it in its entirety there see you later thanks for joining bye